Oh my God, $14 drugstore. Get your hands on it, honey. This look like a foundation. Like, tell me, sis, some like a foundation. Tell me. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my video. My name is Lisa Reed. For those that are new here, thank you so much, sis, for tuning in to my video on today. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and smash the subscribe button. It's going to be over here, over there, up there, somewhere on the screen. Make sure you subscribe, sis, bro. It is free. Definitely, it's my channel. I'm more than y'all ever know. So, y'all, today was not a planned filming day, but honey, the lighting is like perfection outside right now. All I got is my ring light and one little soul pulse light thing going on here. So, sis, we had to get into it today, honey. So let's go ahead and hop right in with our further ado, boo boo. We're gonna go ahead and apply our um, milk hydro grip primer. I didn't say the video gonna be, but you saw the title. Well, right now I don't know what it's gonna be. The title is gonna say what it's gonna be by now. But anyway, I'm thinking I'm getting ready, y'all, because I am getting ready to, to head out, chef. My boo boo is off this weekend, so we're gonna get in these grease, honey. Um, so I figured I would sit down. I am doing makeup right now in real time. I gotta be done by a certain time, supposedly, which never really happens. So I'm gonna try to make it happen today. Anyway, um, so I guess this would be like my everyday simple makeup look. I told y'all I am like a minimalistic person with makeup when it comes to makeup. I really don't do the most, y'all. Like, I really don't. You know what I'm saying? I be trying to experiment with stuff for y'all as far as, you know, different things you may see on my channel here and there. I do a lot of beauty content. By the way, my window's up once again, so I be looking at so distracting in the daytime when I film. But anyways, Beauty content child, lifestyle, vlogging, gonna be vlogging this weekend. So be on the lookout for this here vlog that's gonna be cut up this weekend. Today's Friday, Saturday. <laughs> it should be on tomorrow. This video, I'm gonna save it for like my regular beauty content that I go up during the week. Um, but anyways, child, yeah, and wellness related content you'll find here on this channel, sis, bro. So if that's something you, you know what I'm saying, you into, you need to go and smash the subscribe button and turn on that bell too so you be notified of all the uploads I do so you don't miss nothing, honey. Um, but yeah, anyway, y'all, so I guess this would be like my, my natural everyday makeup look. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, the star of this show is going to be the El Camo CC Cream, honey. I did a review on this video. If you haven't checked it out, sis, bro, go ahead and check it out, honey. Um, this is a bomb CC cream, honey. It's like a full coverage CC. It is full coverage CC cream. It's like a foundation for real, for real. I'm going to go ahead and pump this on my face and blend this. Uh, I don't know how I did it last time. Did I pump it on my face or put it on my brush? I can't remember. I'm going to go put it on my face. Put it on my face this time. I can't remember how I did it. Y'all, I'm like breathing heavy. I'm all out of breath. I'm trying to hurry up, so. <laughs> oh, child. Short on time today, but what's new? Ooh, I'm putting a lot out. And this little tube getting a little messy. I need to be cleaned out. Cleaned, actually, but I got a napkin down here. Um, I pulled out my little setup so quick, y'all. I was like, I'm going to get this look today. <laughs> Shoot. We ain't going to let no days go to waste, honey. No content go to waste. Um, we're going to film. If we can't film, by all means, we're going to film because I work full time. Okay. So usually I film during the work week. Um, but I told myself, sis, you need to start filming on the weekend when you have time. You know what I'm saying? These brushes, see the fibers and stuff be coming out and everything. Um, I haven't even flipped the thing out. And then anyway, it's a wet and wild brush, y'all. My last vlog I told y'all, I mean video, I wanted to use. If you haven't watched that, watch that too. Um, where I did a full face to first impressions. Anyway, I wanted to use this, but I forgot to use this. It's the Wet n Wild uh, flat top brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this and blend out my um, CC cream real quick. That's that. Do this CC cream not blend out like a dream though, honey? Oh, and this is skin. This is looking all glowy and dewy. I ain't putting no oil on for real. All right, let's go ahead and um, conceal. Like I said, I ain't really got time to be talking, talking for real. <laughs> I need to be hurrying it up. So I'm gonna go ahead, I guess, be using most of our Elf products, child complexion. This is the Elf Camo CC Cream. Ain't nothing new here, child. The deep chestnut. Um, go ahead and conceal with this here, honey. This is what I would do realistically, y'all. Clearly, this is my realistic everyday look um, that I'll put on or whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just be looking a little cute, cute in these streets. So let's go ahead and see it real quick. Yeah. All right, it's a 
concealer. Y'all know it don't take long to blend out stuff for real. I just be like making sure it's all blended out, honey, because I crease really hard under my eyes no matter what concealer I use. Like I crease like super hard. So I tend to, um, you know, make sure I really take time to blend out my uh, concealer. I thought the powder I wanted to use. Hold on, y'all. Where is this? It's over here somewhere. I got my uh, banner right over here. Y'all, I forgot I had to spend it. Um, Dang, what is this? Defensive Beauty, this, this honey powder. This is a nice powder. It's super matte, bro. It is super matte, sis. This, this uh, concealer already matte, child, so. Ooh, I won't be doing too much while I be looking like foolish. But a really good staying powder to put down under your, um, if you want to like concealer. Which I might use this. You know what? I want some Moderna blend, but when I'm trying to do like real quick looks, like these powder, these loose powders like this are very messy and child, I have powder going everywhere, but I like my orange powders. Uh, orange. No, I don't like orange. Yellow powders, yellow bean powders. I love these powders. This is a great powder. This is the shade Warm Saffron. But I'm gonna use because you don't want to be with these mask child and everything. Even though this part ain't gonna be under a mask or nothing. But this Urban Decay um all nighter waterproof setting uh, waterproof setting powder, honey. When I say this here, this powder is like bomb.com, honey. Bomb.com. And it is translucent and it's so much easier to set with pressed powders and you know with your brush honey i just get right in there and do that thing let me find my i ain't did this in a long time hold on let me find my concealer brush oh i should have the stuff this set out already um i mean set out already where my little thing at right here because like i said y'all this is actually on real time right now <laughs> um and i'm really quicker with my makeup now i've gotten better i'm just talking to y'all of course uh hold on make sure my thing ain't going down honey my lighting all right so anyway y'all notice these contacts honey i like you doing this Y'all like them. And they're from a company called TTDYI, whatever. Um, I saw another influencer. Her name is So Classy Angel on here. I love her. A fellow, y'all, hold on. Bruh, let my light be messing up. Okay. Whoo, chat. Uh, another fellow YouTuber on here. So let's go ahead and set my under eye real quick with this. We make sure I'm not creasing, pressing in my concealer some more. Anyways, um, I love her channel. Like, her vlogs are everything. Beauty content is everything. And she had these lash, um, Contacts in on one of her um, beauty tutorials, and I was like, "Sis, what's the deep, honey?" And so I used her code and used these, bought these um, things. They're cute. Just gonna switch up. They're prescription, by the way. I can't see. I told you I'm blind as a bat. I do not work for style or fashion, but these are for fashion. You know what I'm saying? But they cute, and I had support. You know, another fellow black YouTuber. So let's go ahead and set my under eye real quick with this hair powder. Child, that's it for the setting powder. I'll be doing the most. Y'all, but this girl take forever putting on products. Probably, I want to make sure it's on good, hun. Um, see how I be feeling when y'all. Everybody got to pull up outside. I'm gonna try to list some products over here, child. I forgot to uh, put to list what I use when I'm putting products over here. See, and I start pulling up with a, a four wheel machine. It's like whenever I start doing stuff, my neighbors next door they super irritating as it is. I shouldn't say that. God said to pray for your neighbor. When they annoy you to pray for them, don't don't curse them, but bless them with your mouth. Um, but they help me, God. They get on my nerves. Um, if I'm being totally honest, like now my window's up, right? So you're filming y'all trying to get this natural light, and everybody, mama, got to pull up when I'm getting ready to film. Now they got these big loud photos over here, and they finna start this dumb photo of crap. I'm pretty sure now that I'm filming my video, of course. Um, so anyway, make sure my products listed over here. Say over here again, like so I can remember what I used to link uh, in the description bar. But anyway, let's go ahead and set all over the face with the Fenty um, Pro Matte Powder Foundation. Child, this is shade 440. <laughs> Y'all know this powder, like I just used my other video. So, like I said, it's not really a tutorial for real, for real, but I guess it is. It wasn't supposed to be a tutorial, but it is, I guess. So let's go ahead and set uh, my face area that um, CC cream with this powder foundation. Yeah. All right, that's it for the powder. Um, Y'all see I like took my powder all over. Once I put it in the areas it needs to be set, I like to still go over. Oh, y'all, hold on. Hold on, what's on my face? What is this? Wait, it's a little area. This is something for my headband. Head down to my face or something. Um, But yeah, I like to take the powder even in the areas I conceal. Just so there's no like foolish looking, like obviously light parts on my face and then 
the part the part with the powder just the powder just now and if y'all hear that noise with them on them four wheels i'm so sorry like my window is right here their house is right there the driveway the garage is right there and they will want to pull this crap out like i said when i'm getting ready to film never fails um so we're gonna pretend like i don't hear it all right um i talk loud as it is i feel like this powder y'all now that i got the right shade like ooh, you talk about obsession like honey it is so smooth do y'all like it up close isn't it pretty yes all right let's go ahead and bronze real quick i'm going to use i will use a fenty bronzer but for some reason i want to use my black radiance sometimes i just love the finish with this black black radiance press palette it's the shade um what's the shade black coffee this is a product i actually use a lot y'all told y'all um i actually hit pan on it um so I need another, I think I got another one. Do I have another one? I don't even know. Let's go ahead and bronze up the um, the cheekbones and everything like that so we can look all chiseled and snatched. Talk to me nice, talk to me honestly. All right, y'all, so that's it for the bronzer, honey. Y'all see how I took my bronzer in my hairline? Um, whenever I'm doing my makeup, ooh, honey, I'm wasting this powder on this carpet. Whenever I'm doing my makeup looks, I wear things like this, of course, but I like for my edges to be up just a little bit because I bring the bronzer color into my hairline, so it looks more natural. I'm gonna clean up around, of course, it's looking like you see lines of demarcation, plus I'm gonna clean up beside it, but around it anyway. But let's go ahead and um, do that now, actually, with my powder brush that I used. Uh, I'm gonna take this and go over those areas. Well, well, you see that line where it meets? We don't want that, sis, so. I just come to my brush and just kind of diffuse it all together so it looks more blended. Again, y'all, I'm so sorry for hearing this noise. It's so annoying. And I'm not even going to clean up under it today because I feel like, you know, it's my own to go quick because I'm not trying to look super, super chiseled. You know what I'm saying? Like I would normally like to clean up under here. Um, because I have a natural jawline contour thingy anyway going on here. So oftentimes I don't have to do all that. I just like to do it because I like how it looks on me. But, um, yeah, just going around and buff the area out where I kind of went a little bit ham on this side so that it looks, you know, more natural down on the forehead so it doesn't look so harshly there. And so that helped clean it up already. It's not as harsh as it was. <laughs> it was not harsh at all how it was before. So anyway, it makes it look more natural, honey. That's all the goal is here. Now let's go ahead and put on our little um, highlight, y'all. Y'all know I use the same. I, if you don't notice, um, for a lot of my um, makeup looks, I use a lot of the same products. Unless I'm reviewing something or trying to... God dang it. Hold on. I got my thing. Or trying to show something new for y'all. I use a lot of the same products, y'all. I'm burning up once again. Every time I sit down... I be having a heater on and I'm about to faint. I'm starting to sweat now. So y'all, I'm gonna have to cut. I'm gonna have to come right back. Let me go turn my heat up because I'm about to faint. Be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. I'm sorry, boys, turn my air off. My heater off because I was about to faint sitting here trying to play it off like I wasn't hot. Whew. So yeah, let's go ahead. Um, like I said, I want to put on this um, highlighter, but I still want to play on my blush, y'all. Um, the last video I told y'all I'm gonna try to experiment more with blush and get more comfortable with it. This is the, Cy uh, <laughs> the Tiger Lily Sephora collection blush, the same blush I had in my last video. I want to go ahead and pop that on. This time, use the correct brush. I think my brush that I used had a lot to do with how, um, y'all, I'm losing stuff left to right. Anyway, the brush had a lot to do with how uh, it applied too. If you're using a bigger brush, it's going to, of course, cover more area. So that's why the bronzer, the brush blush came all down too far into my highlighted areas because the brush was a little bit too big. So I'm going to go in with this Profusion. Um, this came in a brush uh set the perfusion brush a lot smaller it, it's actually a blush brush uh it's what it was labeled as anyway even though i told you y'all can use stuff interchangeably um we're gonna go ahead and try to apply this and be a little less light light handed on today i'm looking at my other um tablet over here seeing how i'm looking but i think i'm looking good so let's go ahead and apply this to the um cheeks I think I look a lot better than how I did it um, 
whatever that it was yesterday not yesterday last video that went up it looks a lot better even a smile like this is not so into my highlighted area i'm still going with my brush here i think i went over a little bit on this i just a tad bit my actually my sponge that i use i had my concealer on it uh try to diffuse it out like this That's the only thing I gotta work on, y'all, is bringing it, not bringing it down too far on the um, cheek area. But other than that, I think I'm getting better. Now, usually for my everyday look, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, my spoon just got all my flow, it's gone now. I'm not getting the um, pat over it with my brush again. But yeah, usually for my everyday looks, I definitely would not put on blush. Um, Cause I actually like the bronze goddess look, like you know, for my bronze and highlighter, honey, and especially this side hitting the day. I'm cold of the day, honey. But you see a little flush of color on the cheeks there, so it's cute. Um, let's go ahead and apply this highlighter, the same one, Makeup Revolution, um, the bronze, bronzer reloaded, the everyday, every Lord long weekend. Um, uh, it's a bronzer, but I use it as a highlighter. All right, y'all. Well, that's it for that. I know I look a little too much highlighted, but you know, we're going to blend it out. With our big flushy Sonia Kashuk Pure Spoon, uh, not Power Sponge, Powder Brush. It's from Target. Retail for like $20. You know, she a little pricey, honey, but good product. It's kind of buffing everything again, so it doesn't look so harshly highlighted, you know. All right, y'all. So I like to do that oftentimes before I go ahead and, um, Set the face, so I'm gonna go ahead and set using our same spray from last video. Um, I'm actually trying to use two this time. Andre Renee does this a lot. She used like a a setting spray to, to actually set the uh, to set the face, and then she used like a more illuminating kind of spray um, on top of that. But hmm, I don't know if it's a good idea to use a matte and an illuminating set spray because I want to. I spray a lot of matte powder. This here, ooh, I'm talking about this Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte Setting Spray. When I tell you, honey, this thing will keep you locked. This locks it in. So actually, let's do that. Let's use this first and we'll go over this with the illuminating, the Elf um, illuminated mist and set to get more of that glowy look. So let's try that. All right, y'all. Now let's go in with the Elf set and spray on top of that one and see what that'll do for us. See if they get us a little, give us more of a little illuminated, um, dewy look. We all complexion looking good though. I didn't get the brows yet, honey, but the complexion is popping. y'all so that's it for the complexion honey oh y'all be sweating <laughs> i should have did it i'd be sweating sorry the heat came on y'all i sweat like super hard but anyway y'all how y'all liking this look this is my everyday go-to for complexion products honey this is it i don't do the most the blush was doing the most for me today honey but i still popped that on because i bought i won't try it out some more but yeah so that's a little close-up this is how we looking i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows honey <laughs> i did it again well there we go <laughs> Who else sweating their armpits like? I do. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows, child. Um, and then um, I'm pop back on because these lashes was so bomb in the last video. I'm going to again. Sorry, I know I'm like doing the most. But I'm going to again because they are like bomb lashes. I'm going to show y'all what I do. Um, actually, you know what? Let me do my brows first. I'm getting ahead of myself. Brows first. I'm going to come back on. I'm going to show you what I do for my real quick. When I want to do a little something for eyeshadow, I think I showed y'all time before, but I'll show you again. For anybody that's returning back to my channel, thank you so much, sis, for returning subscribers, returning people, period. If you ain't subscribed, you need to be subscribing, though. All right? So, let me get off camera and do my brows. I come back on, do a real quick little um, eyeshadow little thingy, and um, pop these on. All right, y'all. So, I'm back. Do my brows real quick. I told y'all I'm going to crunch time schedule. I'm going to take time and show y'all a real quick, easy eyeshadow look that I would do. Um, since I have a couple of you guys ask for information more on, not information, but tutorials more on like doing more eyeshadow looks. So I'm going to use the Wet n Wild um, Color Icons um, 
This new drugstore palette that I forgot to do in my last video because I popped my lashes on too quick. Got excited for these dramatic lashes, honey. So we're going to pop this on here real quick. I think I'm going to go ahead and take, you don't have much option as far as like, what well, you do. I can put this in my crease as a transitional color, crease color, whatever. It's very light. So on me, I doubt it even show up. So I'm going to try to put this color here, the last one in. There are no colors, I don't think, no names. Pop my brush, Morphe M504 brush in there like this. These are going to have a lot of kick up. It is drugstore. It's only like $2.99. So I don't know how it's going to look. We're going to try it out, okay? And just simply, um, I would press it in first, but I don't have time for it, y'all. I'm kind of on a crunch. So <laughs> I'm just going to take it and just swipe it into my crease and see what it'll show up looking like first. Uh, uh, I don't know if I see anything. Let's see. I'm kind of being real messy right now. See my brush going in everywhere, honey. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I see it. See, compared to this eye, uh, just a little bit. I see it. Like, I see some definition, you know. In my crease. So let's go ahead since we did it on this side, do the same on this side, just to do the same thing. Like I said, you're getting a kick up. I'm getting a kick up anyway because, you know, um, I hear the payoff though is good, was good with these. The ones I've seen thus far I've reviews that I stumbled upon on YouTube. Um, so that's exciting. Now I'm seeing it more on this side for whatever reason, but. Y'all know my brows. I do not do the cleaning up of the brows and all that, honey. I, I just try to draw them on as precisely as I can and neatly as I can so that I don't have to clean up. Put more on this side and add more on this side. So I don't have to um, focus on going in with concealer and all that. Like, I used to do it, to be honest, but honestly, I just like a natural looking brow. I don't really like the highlighted look. That's just me when it comes to like, Highlighting underneath the brow, so folks do a bullet brow and everything, you know, honey. That's too much for me, so. And for one, I'm kind of lazy. I like cut out steps as much as I can. So, if you just take the time with, with brows and, um, you know, putting them on as hold on, precisely as you can, that will help out a lot. So, I'm going to take my brush cleaner and spur the brush in. So, I just put that one shadow in the crease. So, I'm going to go back in, pick up this deeper color here. Um, yeah, see how chocolatey brown it actually is. Start putting it on my outer uh, lid area and working it kind of into the crease. I think what I'm doing with this, I really have no idea. I get on here and don't have no idea what I'm doing with eyeshadow for real. Cause usually I'll just pop on, if I'm doing this for every day being realistic, I'll just pop on really either nothing, <laughs> set the hour setting powder or I would, um, um, put on a one, just coming off one shadow look and call it a day. So I'm gonna take whatever's left and kind of just sweep that into the crease as well. Don't mind the mouth, honey. You gotta do it when you're doing that. It's looking a little patchy to me. I could have switched brushes, but I like my life to be simple. Uh, I could use a more smaller brush to really get into my crease, but I mean, this is doing the job. This is what I'm trying to get done. You know what? I may just go ahead and put this all over the lid. That's what we're going to do. Make it a smoky brown eye. Um, I was going to do a shimmer shade, like get pick up something, because this is way too, I've never used this too glittery. It was a mess um, when I swatched it. I will take something like this. I love a rose goldy kind of color. I'll take something like that and like sweep it. You know, if I want to put a little um, metallic -y shade whatever but for the sake of this video and it being quick <laughs> and really hopefully beginner friendly for some people that are watching we're just gonna put it on the lid like this here hun okay so squash that what i just said earlier just take it put it all over the lid like you can stamp it on like this you can build it up however you want um i actually like a smoky eye honey so i think i'm gonna do a little extra build this here up and these morphe brushes are like perfection when it comes to blending because it is a blending uh blending brush and I got this recommendation from Andrea Renee. She lives for this brush, huh? Uh, all right. I'm gonna take it again. You can have a napkin if you got a napkin. You can swirl it on there too. Just try to get some of the product off. Um, and then I'm gonna take it again in the crease where that brown is already on the lid. Whatever's being drug up, that's fine. We're just gonna blend it into the crease like so. 
Can y'all see me? What I'm doing? I don't know how I am, but I should have missed that. You know, as far as tell somebody. <laughs> Um, but you know, I had no problem sharing what I do and what seems to look good, honey, and work for me. I'm not going to drag this up to the brow bone, uh, because this is a darker shade and I want to just create more of a, you know, smoky look. This, be, this doesn't have to be perfect to you guys, like, not for real. See? It's smoky. Yeah, <laughs> I feel sexy. All right, same thing on this eye. Real quick, let's speed through this one. Sweet concussion. Oh, you be my touching. Good to show me something. He be more than one thing. I did more than lesson. All right, y'all. So that's it. I feel like. Um, I know I lied. I said I wasn't taking my bra on, which I didn't for real. I just kind of want to take it, um, just slightly diffuse it a little bit upwards. Can y'all see what I did? I'll try my best to. All right, so that's it for what I would do for a really quick smoky eye kind of ordeal. Two shadows, simple. Simple, simple, simple. Now let me get off camera, uh, where my glue at? And I use the Lash Duo Glue, the clear um, quick set, I think, glue. Go ahead and, uh, I should have had this sitting the whole time I was doing my, my brows, uh, my eyeshadow. Let me go ahead and pop these lashes on real quick and I'll come back on. Um, and that's really gonna be it. I do the finished look. I just put on my lip, um, have my lip and my lashes on. Come back on and be the finished look. Like y'all, let y'all see everything looks. Um, for the second time, I have to hurry to get my bags pack. We doing an overnight trip, so all right, y'all, welcome back. All I did was pop my lashes on these dramatic lashes, honey, that I did in my last video. Yeah, and watch that. Check it out, sis. These new uh, matte black kiss. They're not really, really new, new to me. Matte Black Kiss Couture Lashes, um, match my black nails, I'm feeling all bad girly-ish. Yeah, I was just making it look cute. Anyway, I put my lashes on, put on some um, mascara, I use the same products as I usually use, the e.l.f. Um, brown Black Eyeliner and my Waterline and um, the same e.l.f. Lash It Loud Mascara. I love that mascara, y'all. Y'all can get your hands on it. Very inexpensive. It's a new drop from e.l.f. Cure lately. And then I put on my Sephora Gel Molasses Lip Liner, of course, my fave, and the Fenty um, Cream, um, what are these things called? Cream Gloss Balm in the shade Honey Waffles. Very popular color for us, for us women of color. Um, very pretty, I love it. And yeah, that's pretty much it, what I would do for an everyday look. Um, realistically, I would probably not um, put on any, um, what you call this, eyeliner uh, for my bottom. My eyeliner, basically, I would, wouldn't put that on. I wouldn't put on blush, um, and I would not put on mascara on my lower lashes just if I was making this a really, really truly everyday. So maybe this, maybe this should be like a, I don't know, a smoky brown natural makeup look. I don't know, y'all. What type is it yet? Just yet. But anyway, it's a cute look, honey. This is something I would wear, but just little, little steps. I would not do like blush. But I want to play more in that blush that I got since I bought it. And yeah, y'all, comment. Do y'all like this look? I forgot to even say it throughout the video. I was so uh, pressed for time trying to get this done so I can get ready and get out the house. So yeah, comment below if y'all like this look. I'm here for it, honey. It's giving me my skin. This LCC cream is something serious, honey. I mean, oh my God, $14 drugstore. Get your hands on it, honey. This look like a foundation. Like, tell me, sis, some like a foundation. Tell me. Anyway, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching my videos. Y'all, I appreciate you guys more than you will ever, ever know. All 69 of you guys now. And I'm praying to God for more subscribers, more faithful subscribers that are going to watch my content, engage with me. And I thank y'all so much for the ones that are doing just that. I appreciate you. I see you, sis. I see you, sis. I see you, sis. So, yeah, comment your thoughts on this look. Um, double, double, double thumbs up this video. Go ahead and subscribe to the video. Subscribe to this channel. If you haven't already, the uh, link's going to be somewhere up here, over there, over there. I don't know where, but subscribe. Like I said, double thumbs up. Comment your thoughts. And until next video, you guys, I'll see y'all in the next one.